You see them everywhere. People are obsessed with fitness trackers. You've got your Fitbit, your Nike, your Garmin, and your Samsung and Apple Watch. They are spurring a revolution of fitness. People are parking further from the office, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, and getting off the bus earlier than normal. Everyone wants to reach their step count. It's great. Some devices not only count your steps, but can measure your heart rate, blood oxygen level, sleep patterns, skin temp, body weight, and body mass. This is definitely an industry that's on the rise. If you look at people walking down the street, you can't help but notice the commonplace these devices are today. And the industry is growing, with future generations promising to monitor even more. But are they accurate? Even when it comes to steps, you can wear three different devices and get three different readings. As long as they are making you be more health conscious, what is the harm of being a few hundred steps off, right? Activity is good, so go for it. What about when it comes to sleep? At the basic level, they can tell when you are asleep and when you have woken up. At the more advanced level, devices that include heart rate monitors may claim that they can tell the different stages of sleep and give you data based on that. But studies have been done with a full sleep study and a tracker being worn at the same time, and the trackers were off by as much as an hour. Understand that a Fitbit is monitoring the movement of your wrist as a means of judging your sleep. While a full sleep study would show that just because you aren't moving doesn't mean you are in a restful sleep. If it motivates you to be more active, the answer is most definitely yes. Should you be depending on the device to accurately monitor your sleep? Probably not. Thank you.